Hannah coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simplified version of my Hershey's Christmas tree. You may have seen this tree before. This is the first Hershey's design I ever created. And since then I've, I've learned a lot about how to make them. And I've had some suggestions from some of my subscribers. And I have now a simplified version of this tree to share with you today. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make this version. To start off with, you're going to need a strip of cardstock that is nine and three quarter inches by an inch. And I have my Simply Scored scoring tool here. And you're just gonna put this right up at the top of your scoring board. And we are going to score at the three inch mark, the six and one eighths inch mark, and the nine and a quarter inch mark. And then we're going to bend this piece along all the score lines, just inward. Okay, and you're gonna have a piece like this. And we're going to take our Tombow glue. I love this glue because it really, once you get it on there, those uh, paper um, fibers in the cardstock bond together. And it's very difficult to get it apart afterwards if you've ever tried to pull uh, something together that has um, this Tombow multi-purpose glue, you will know that um, you will leave paper on the side that you're pulling away from. So this is very hard um, to get apart unless you want to really tear the paper. So I'm just holding it down for a few seconds just to get a good bond. And then we can put this aside for a second while we make the filler strips. And the filler strips are the things that will hold your Hershey's Kisses in to your Christmas tree without using adhesive, which is the really cool part. So you're going to need a piece of paper that is 11 inches by two inches. And I'm going to pop off these little markers right here so we don't get confused. And now we're going to score at all of the inch marks. So one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, eight inch, nine inch, and 10 inch mark. Then we can put our scoring board aside and I'm going to bring in my cutting board. We did all the scoring quickly for all the pieces, but now we need to cut them apart. So I'm just gonna line this um, piece of cardstock up with my one inch mark and I'm going to cut it in half along its length. So now I have two 11 inch strips by one inch and I'm gonna put one of those strips aside and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm gonna line it up here with my four inch mark and we're gonna cut it one, oh, that's my scoring blade, that won't work. So let me bring up my cutting blade and let's cut that. And so now we can stick our cutter aside. I have a four inch scored piece, a seven inch scored piece, and an 11 inch scored piece. So let's start with this 11 inch piece. And the best way I have found to fold these strips is if you fold twice downwards, and then you flip it, and you fold twice downward again and you flip it and fold down twice, flip it, fold down twice, flip it, fold down twice. This creates uh, what will look like a series of triangles when you bring it together. So now we're gonna bring in our frame and you'll wanna make sure, you can see right here, let me bring it into the light. There's your little tab right here and you will want your tab to be down at the bottom, okay, of your, your um, that's the uh, thing that you're gonna attach your trunk to. So when I'm putting these in, I'm gonna put my biggest filler strip down at the bottom and I've got it facing the wrong way right now. So I'm just going to turn this around because we want the larger side the longer side to face down, and we're just gonna tuck it into the bottom of the tree, okay? 
Now I'm going to take the seven inch strip and I'm going to do the same thing, fold it the same way. Uh, I'm going to fold twice down, then I'm gonna flip it, fold down twice, flip it, fold down twice. And then when I bring this together, I'll have another set of triangles. Of course this one is uh, the wrong way as well, so I'm just gonna turn that like this and I'm going to put this down up into the middle of my frame. And now we just have one last piece left. This is our four inch strip. And I'm just going to fold this all the same way. We're folding down all three times. And then we're gonna bring it in together to form a triangle. So there's two overlapping pieces and you just overlap them and it forms a triangle. And we are gonna pop this right into the top of our frame. So then um, I decided that I would like, instead of doing ribbon as I've done before, I'm going to put a star at the top of my tree. So I want to be able to hold that on there without any adhesive at all. So I decided that the best way is to create a little slit right at the top. So what I do is I kind of, I'm gonna have to make sure this top triangle is nested right at the top of the frame and then I'm gonna kind of bend my frame a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to cut um, into it about a quarter inch. So I'm gonna use kind of my, my paper snips. I'm gonna cut in, I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. It's about a quarter inch in, and that's where I'm gonna put the star later. So in the meantime, you can see I've kind of bent this top piece a little bit. No worries, we are going to flatten that all back out. And once the kisses are in there, you won't even see that I have bent that piece. So now for the kisses. So um, I like to put my kisses, I start at the bottom of my tree, and I'm gonna do all the kisses that um, point up first. So I like to kind of grab them and uh, with the, the top of my finger um, and or the top of the kiss and the bottom of the kiss, my thumbs at the bottom, and I rotate it in. I rotate the top in first and then the bottom. So I just take the kisses and I'm gonna do the bottom row where they're all facing up first. I found that this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the next row going to put the kisses that face up first okay and then we're going to take um, this top kiss put it in like that and then I'll just rotate it because it's easier for me to pop them in this way and I'll put the middle kiss in and then one of the bottom kisses. And then you'll see, oh, my tree looks a little wonky, so, but no worries, it needs to be kind of tight, so that's why it's going a little wonky. So I just kind of stick my thumb in there, and I make some room for the next kiss, okay? You see that? And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate my last kiss in. And you know, the, they have to be tight, otherwise they're gonna fall out, so. Once I've got that, I kind of shape it back into the triangle that it was. And one little thing that I uh, didn't tell you with the slit is I moved my slit forward a little bit. I didn't put it right in the center because that's where um, the peak of my kiss is going to be. So I put it kind of uh, closer to uh, the front or, or the back either way so that it will avoid hitting this kiss because the kiss comes in on an angle so it's just a little bit forward, maybe about a third of the way um, onto the strip like that, so it won't interfere. So let me just grab, I've got some gold glimmer paper here, and this is our new medium star punch, which will fit this perfectly. And I'm just going to punch one of my little stars out here. This is, this gold glimmer is so pretty. And then what you can do is you just find your little slot and you just kind of wiggle your star right into place. Isn't that 
cool. So, I mean, if you give it a really hard tug, the star will come out. But otherwise, it's just going to stay nested in there without any adhesive at all. And I think that's really cool. So last but not least, um, this was uh, a suggestion by someone on um, my blog. Uh, she used Rolos as the base. I used to use Nuggets as the base, but this year we're going to use Rolos. So you notice the Rolo has a little dimple and um, you can use one of these Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, these are little um, kind of a foam hexagon. So it will go right down into the dimple and it will stick up enough so it will adhere to the bottom of your your tree and the dimensionals are also very very sticky so they'll stay on nicely so I'm just going to peel off the backing of my dimensional and then you just need to find the center bottom of your tree just give it a little push and there you go you have a really cute and easy Christmas tree made in only a few minutes. All the supplies you'll need to make this Christmas tree are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now!